it was definitely a much better feeling waking up the day after the semifinal this year than the previous four. The group uh, worked hard this year to be able to get the home game. We thought the home game would be important. The, the fan support and crowds in the game, especially the last 15 minutes, was incredible. You, just, you had to be there to really feel it. And it was a big win for the group, big win for the team, big win for the organization, the owner, the family. Um, you know, we were glad to get over that hump and to get to here. And now we're ready to take on that next task and see what we can do tomorrow. I think you need a lot of you know, character, personality, resilience, perseverance, words we talk about a lot, I think, in the group. Um, you know, when we, when we started the team four years ago, Western New York, I think it was more of a culture change. And what, 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 when you have a culture change, what do you need to do to change that culture? And I think a lot of it revolves around the players, the collaboration of the players, uh, and the challenge of the players to get better every day. And then the challenge, obviously, is to have a plan and the ability to, to, to stick to the plan or reach for the plan and then change the plan as you go. You know, I don't think you can... You know, set a goal, and then while you're on top, be be keeping with it, and say, "Oh, we just play the same way. We'll just do the same thing. We'll just keep winning." I don't think that's true. You have to change, and we've adapted a lot. The team's been very adaptive. I think the last 18 months, and obviously the World Cup threw a few wrenches into this season uh, at least. But I think it's an, an overall. The team has uh, developed and matured and adapted, and over the last couple of years, and I think we're in a good spot. We're a much better team today than the team that won the championship four years ago. That's for sure. If you're asking me if I'd rather be playing this game in North Carolina tomorrow or Chicago, I would say Chicago. Um, but it's a 90 minute game and what goes on in the field for 90 minutes will determine the outcome of the game, not where you are, who's an underdog or who's a favorite. They've, they've set the standard for what it means to be a top team in this league over the last three years and everybody's chasing them and we're excited for the opportunity to get them in this game. And there's no complacency for sure going into this one. Our, our players have been talking about the game for a long time. We felt Chicago was, was the best team with us all season, the two best teams have got there. So I think the more thing we talk about Chicago is the fact that if we talk about us and not Chicago and, and what we can do. And you know, if we put our best foot forward and we look sharp and what, what we normally do on our field here, then we should have we should have some success. But if we don't play up to par, we will get beat on Sunday. There's no question about it.